and Akshay Kumar Bari, headmaster of the Blapa High School. I made a squirrel like effort in this pandemic COVID 19 situation for the children, thanks to our beloved, very active and dynamic, caring, loving, and sharing the Osar Kapilendra Mishra as he inspires us for the set. Let's start the class. Good morning, students. How are you? I think you may be fine. Stay home, stay safe. Friends, what is this? I think you all know it's a flower. It's a flower. And what does it look? It looks yeah, very beautiful. Not only beautiful, but also bright and beautiful. Let's let's look at the picture. Look at the let's look at the picture. What does it look? It looks also very beautiful. So, all the creation of girls are very bright and beautiful. Today, we are going to learn the topic, all things bright and beautiful. Yes, again, all things bright and beautiful. And this topic is composed by, this topic is composed by C.A. Alexander. C.A. Alexander. The full form of C.F. Alexander is Cecil Francis Alexander. Again, Cecil Francis Alexander. And today we are going to know about his birthplace. And his birthplace is Dublin, Ireland. And he born in, he born in 1880. She is a very popular hymn writer. What does it mean by him? Him means some of our students also pronounced it wrongly. That is himini, not himni. But according to the transcription of Oxford, according to the transcription of Oxford, it is written like this. The transcription is him, him writer, not himni, but him. The him writer means a song of praising God. When we praise God by the means of a song, that is known as a hymn. And in our Uriya also, Bhakta Kavi Madhusudana Rao also composed a number of hymns. That is, for example, Kisunna Raha, Kyananda Maya, Ehi Pishala Sansara, Dhanya Mahaprabhu, Mahima Dumara, Ate Ananta Abha. So, Bhakta Kavi Madhusudana Rao also created a number of hymns for our children. And this topic is extracted from this topic is extracted from him for the children. Him for the children. And the other creations of CF Alexanders are Christmas Carol, once in Royal David City, versus for Holy Season. These are the other creations of CF Alexander. And this topic, this part, all things bright and beautiful, is extracted from, is taken out from him for the children. Him for the children. So students, we know about the composer, the mother of the poet, C.F. Alexander. He born in Dublin, Ireland, and in 1818. And it is a popular hymn writer. Hymn writer means I also a song of praising God. Let's go through the leading or introduction of the poet. God has given us everything in this beautiful universe. The mind of the poet was arrested being seen the natural beauty of the universe. And God has created everything for us. He has given air to breathe, water to drink and food to eat. He has arranged, arranged very well all the things and not only these things but also he arranged the eyes to see the ear to listen the leaf to praise the god and each and everything he arranged for us for the beautiful creation to live a smooth life to live a smooth life let's 
go through the poem. Yes, students, first listen to me. First I read the poem, then listen to me, mind. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. The Lord God made them all. Yes, again, you recite. All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Students, please read silently this poem for some time. Focusing words of this stanza, of the first stanza, first bright. Bright means shining or glowing. Shining or glowing. Next, beautiful. Beautiful means giving pleasure. Giving pleasure to sense or mind. To sense or mind. Next, Lord. Lord means a title referred to Almighty God. A title referred to God. Next, wise. Wise means having knowledge. Having knowledge. Next, wonderful. Wonderful means admirable or excellent. So let's today learn about this paragraph. All things bright and beautiful. Students, things without the presence of God, without the presence of God, can you think? Can you think of the world? Nothing is bright and beautiful. And without the presence of our eyes also, nothing is bright and beautiful. So, with the God has arranged the sun to in this universe for the beauty, for to look all the things beauty and bright and beautiful. So next, all creatures great and small. From small creature to great creature, all are also the creation of God. From ant to elephant, even the molecule is also the creation of God. And God has created all the great and small creatures in this world. Next, all things wise and wonderful in each things and Abhaduta also made 24 gurus and in each thing we can learn something, we can gain some knowledge from tree, from tree we gain the knowledge of sacrifice, from river, from uh, soil, each and everything, each and everything full of wise and wonderful. Wonderful means admiration and excellent. All the creation of God are full of wonderful. And who made this? The Lord God. Lord means a title referred to Almighty God. The Almighty God, the omnipresent God has made all the universe, all the things in this world. Some rhyming word of the first standard. First, beautiful. The rhyming word is wonderful. The rhyming word is Wonderful. Beautiful. Wonderful. Next, small. The rhyming word is all. Let's learn about the second stanza. Students, first, listen to me. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, he made their glowing colors. He made their tiny wings. Again, each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, he made their glowing colors. He made their tiny wings. Let's laugh silently. Read silently, students. I think you have completed your silent reading. Then focus some. Word focusing word, look for some focusing words. First, glowing. Glowing means bright. Glowing means bright. Then, tiny. Some also mispronounced this word and they pronounced like as teeny. They pronounced like teeny. But the real pronunciation according to expert, it is tiny. The transcription of teeny, tiny, is like this. Tiny. And some of our students mispronounced it like teeny. 
but the real pronunciation is tiny according to expert and tiny means small and then wings wings means feathers feathers of the birds feathers of the birds so each little flower that opens nobody opens the birds of the flowers and the flowers not only for to multiply the beauty of nature but also it gives us food and when flowers turns into fruits is also provide us food in this universe so god has arranged the glowing flowers the bright flowers in this universe not only to not only to multiply not only not only to beautify the world but also it also gives us food after it converting into fruits then each little bird that sings god has also arranged for our pleasure the sare ga ma pa dha ni sa the seven soras seven musical voices for the, the to enrich the beauty of nature and you know kuko is the most suited kuko has the most suited voice in the world and and nowadays music therapy also helps the person to cure the disease and so god has also arranged the sweet sings sweet singing to the tiny birds to the small birds also and he made their glowing colors god has made the bright color of the flowers and he made their tiny wings to fly in the sky to enjoy the beauty of nature god also arranged the feathers the wings of the small birds nobody can fix it the man cannot fix the wings of the birds but the almighty god the omnipresent god has arranged all the things the glowing color to the flowers the singing to the birds the tiny wings to the birds and it helps it makes our world it makes our universe a beautiful place for us for everybody from small to great creature in this universe after reading after learning the two stanzas i think you can face all the following questions the first write the rhyming words like for example for example small all like this you can write sing you can fill in the blanks next fill in the blanks all things bright and dash all things bright and dash all things white and dash i think you can do it home you can do it in your home let's answer the questions what does the poet think of god think sorry what does the poet think of all things think of all things the next question who made all the things the students for today is the homework i think you can practice in your home these two stanzas and next see you in the next period in the coming period we will discuss the the next stanza the stanza 3 i think you can face all the questions easily in your home and see you in the next class thank you